So the premiere of the Twilight Zone 2019 series hosted by Jordan Peele has aired with two back-to-back -back episodes, The Comedian and Nightmare at 30,000 Feet. And throughout both of these episodes, there have been various Easter eggs among them, so I wanted to uncover them. So without further ado, this is the Twilight Zone 2019 Easter Eggs Explained. So starting off with The Comedian episode, as that is the first first episode of this rebooted series, the Eddie's Comedy Club mural has some but deformed faces from classic episodes from the masks and I have a beholder. So as you can see on this mural, there are deformed faces that are clearly in reference to these classic Twilight Zone episodes and that is pretty cool. The masks and I have a beholder. Pretty cool stuff. And later on you can see the main characters, well one of the main characters, Dee Dee, the female comic in The Comedian, drinking Canamit, which is also the name of the alien race from a classic episode To Serve Man. So that's really Really cool Easter egg just tucked in there and this is a running trend throughout the Twilight Zone these two episodes the 2019 series is that a lot of these Easter eggs are not very you know clear we have to really dig to find them which is kind of cool you know very hidden Easter eggs but anyway so as Samir is checking his phone throughout the episode, one of Samir's phone contacts is Al Denton, which is a clear homage to the character of the same name in Twilight Zone classic episode, Mr. Denton on Doomsday. Not to mention the other characters referred to in this episode as well on Samir's phone, like Henry Corwin from Night of the Meek, and James Corey from The Lonely, and more. So just these characters thrown in now on Samir's phone from classic episodes. That's really cool, just a sneaky way of adding Twilight Zone references from the classic series into this new 2019 series. Really cool stuff. So now going to Nightmare at 30,000 Feet, which is a remake first and foremost, sort of a remake reimagining, but it's also kind of an original story, just taking the basic framework of Nightmare at 20,000 Feet and updating it for modern audiences. And now we have Nightmare at 30,000 Feet. So the whole episode is basically a giant homage to the original Twilight Zone episode. And it starts with a book of Samir from episode one, The Comedian, on the cover of this book as Adam Scott's character is browsing the, uh, basically this bookshelf at the airport. So that's pretty cool, Book of Samir. So not only does this episode reference the classic Twilight Zone series, but it also references the, you know, episodes in the same series, this 2019 reboot, which is pretty cool. So we see Samir from episode one on the cover of this book that Adam Scott's character is sort of browsing the shelf on. And then the most obvious you know, Easter egg is the gremlin doll from the luggage after the plane crash. Now that's the most obvious one, it's the most in your face because, you know, we literally just see a shot of the gremlin doll right there. And the gremlin is obviously in reference to the original Nightmare at 20,000 feet episode. Obviously, just a giant homage, they had to do it. So the gremlin doll is from the luggage after the plane crash and I thought it was pretty cool to see, but a bit obvious. You know, this probably the most obvious Easter egg on this sort of list. Anyway, the pilot of the plane that is, you know, about to disappear is, you know, named after the original episode's director. So the original director of Nightmare at 20,000 Feet, Richard Donner, is actually sort of, you know, the pilot's name because the pilot is named Captain Donner. So I thought that was kind of cool, like sort of these name sort of Easter eggs are prevalent all throughout this uh, series. Uh, so far, these first two episodes, there are a lot of name Easter eggs, and, you know, even further than that, the Dansberg magazine is based after the Dansberg Courier newspaper found in the classic Twilight Zone episode called The Printer's Devil. So, we see this sort of newspaper called the Dansberg Courier in Printer's Devil, 
which is a classic Twilight Zone episode, and then the uh, this episode basically renames it the Dansberg Magazine and makes it into a magazine, so they're just using the name Dansberg in a cool way. I liked it. And uh, anyway, you know, one of the other magazines on the uh, shelf is about Oliver Foley, and that could be in reference to Helen Foley from Nightmare as a Child. They both share the same last name. Could be a reference, I'm not too sure. But it's also referencing and referring to an upcoming episode of this Twilight Zone 2019 series called The Wonder Kind. So Oliver Foley will be appearing in this Twilight Zone 2019 episode. But I'm not sure if it's also a reference to Helen Foley from Nightmare as a Child. You know, Marky... Uh, Helen Foley, whatever you want to call her from Nightmare as a Child, which is also another classic Twilight Zone episode. I'm not too sure. So, there are all of the, you know, that's all of the main easter eggs throughout Jordan Peele's Twilight Zone remake, as the others are just miscellaneous ones that are basically just reusing a name of someone that has worked on the Twilight Zone 1959 series, or a character from one of the episodes, whatever. I like these type of easter eggs because it's not, you know, in your face, and they don't distract you from the overall experience of just watching an episode as a Twilight Zone fan, and even still, if you're not a Twilight Zone fan and you're just coming off of this series, you know, fresh, you know, not even seeing any Twilight Zone episodes, you don't really need to get any of these references to, you know, basically enjoy this incarnation of the Twilight Zone, but they are a nice touch to the fans that have seen the prior episodes, and uh, I thought it was just pretty cool to see these easter eggs, you know, on multiple viewings of the episode, and uh, yeah, if I had missed any easter eggs, what, you know, easter eggs did you uncover during your watch through of these two Twilight Zone 2019 episodes? I really want to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Did I miss anything? Let me know. I basically covered everything, I think. Uh, you know, all of the name, you know, miscellaneous name homages, you know, I'm not going to cover all of them because we'll be here all day. But anyway, that basically are all the main Easter eggs. Please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.